All right, what's what's our options here? Uh, our options are getting shot with lasers. That's that's option number one. Then we're certainly exercising that option. Good morning, everyone. I'm Dave. Welcome back to the wee hours where I suffer from periodic bouts of insomnia and play games to pass the time. We are back in the world of Battletech. We're picking right up where we left off. No time has passed. At the end of the last episode, after being betrayed by the miners that hired us, no surprise there, because apparently betrayal is just an inherent factor of all of the Battletech universe. Everybody is going to betray everybody. I don't even trust our employer, Darius. I'm sure he'll betray us at some point. And we've been evac'd off the planet, and we have finished our mission. Success on all fronts, but we didn't make any money, because apparently, you know, the miners betrayed us, and they they tend not to pay out for that. So now what do we do? Now we're into some sort of, you know, virgin territory here. Um, we primarily been dealing with just understanding combat. Let's see what happens now. Okay. Uh, we got some XP. All right. We got some experience for that. I am out for 110 days, apparently. Wow. I got super, super injured. And what about uh, Behemoth? You took a lot of knocks at the end of the last battle. You're out for 40 days. Decker, who went down like a sack of potatoes because I put him in the wrong spot, is also out for 110 days. And Glitch, as we said at the end of the last episode, Glitch was the star of the show. Look at that. Uninjured. Excellent. Glitch, you are my hero. So um, do we get any kills? Yeah, you got some kills. You got some I got a kill. I got a kill. I feel pretty good about that. Um, glitch, tons of kills. Glitch is the star. And Decker just went down like a pile of bricks. Okay, so now what's going to happen? Well, it appears our navigator has a few words to say about our boss. You need to start finding us better clients, Darius. I mean it. Yeah, no, uh, no, no kidding there, Sumir. Sumir? Yeah, I'm going to call you Sumir. That seems like an approximate uh, pronunciation of your name. So, uh, yeah, I totally agree with you. Maybe we shouldn't have chose the clients who were going to betray us and try and murder us and put me out for 110 days. Slumming it on the frontier for three years now, and we are drowning in debt. Well, that's because we don't make any money. That's that we haven't actually made any money yet. I'm fully aware of our financial situation, but I can't just conjure up new clients. Samea, do me a solid and back me up on this. I am Samea. Um, I can't really back you up on this. I'm in the hospital for 110 days. Uh, is this why you all made me your commander? Wait, I'm the commander of this thing? Wow, all right. Break up fights and review financial reports. If we're really that hard up for cash, we need to start stop talking and start doing th something about it. I agree. That's absolutely what I would say. Let's let's get to the meat of this. Yang, you'll hear no arguments from me. We made you our commander. We all agreed to follow your lead. All right. I don't know why they're following my lead. They just picked me off off of a uh, civil war and made me a commander, but sure, why not? Mayor's right. We're in debt. Every sea bill we make technically belongs to the banks. Corner of the Frontier is a dead zone for mercenary work. They're clients, but they're terrible. Yeah, they try and murder us, Darius. Really bad choice in customer relations there. How many jobs will it take to repay the loans? Why not just refuse to pay? That doesn't sound like a good idea. Uh, we're in a bad spot. What are we going to do about it? Yeah, what, what are our options here, Darius? I'm already serving up every legitimate contract I can find. Unless you want me to sidestep the mercenary review board entirely, we're basically out of options. That doesn't sound like a optimal decision here. Yeah, Yang agrees with me. We probably shouldn't do that. Taking an uncertified job is a great way to wind up with a knife in your back. We just got betrayed on a board certified contract. How much worse can it get? Yeah, that, that's very true. Uh, we're already taking a lot of risks. I don't want to compound them yeah let's just um let's let's not go completely illegal mercenary right right out of the gate let me just get a handle on this game before we start flouting the law in the battletech universe why don't we just skip town and head to a nicer corner of the periphery yeah that, that sounds like a decent idea banks and the jump ship crews have an arrangement until we pay up they're going to keep us on a short leash all right 
Mayor's right, we need to start earning some real money. It's only a matter of time before something breaks down that we can't fix. So I could go with uh, an option that lends to my story origin, that I am from a family that was betrayed. I am no stranger to betrayal. No, I was betrayed for, you know, my family was betrayed, and we have been betrayed since we started this game. I uh, lost my family to someone I thought of as a friend. We need money. Desperate times, you know what you need to do. At the end of the day, I'd rather go down fighting than wind up broke. Um, let's just see what options we can get using our story origin. Hate to say it, I agree with you. We need to sidestep the MRB. Oh, I, I thought we had all agreed not to do that. Apparently, I've just changed the focus of the conversation here. All right, that's, that's fine. That's fine. I'll start digging for contracts outside the MRV system. All right, well, let's, let's get something going here, Darius. We need to find another paying job, and our prospects in the system have completely dried up. Booking travel to a neighboring system and seeing what the review board has for us. Okay, that, that sounds sensible. Banks are holding our jump ship access hostage until we repay our debts. For now, we can only be, go between Orkorin and the nearby systems of Alloway, Bellerophon, and Detroit. Really? We can go to Detroit? Um, well, there's, I'm going to tell you right now, there's probably a good bit of mercenary work in Detroit. That would not surprise me at all. Our top priority not right now needs to be finding work so we can raise cash. Uh, okay, let's go to Detroit. Oh, seriously, let's go to Detroit. We're going to need to do some mech repairs before our next contract. Can't go into combat. See me in the mech bay. Yes. All right. So we're going to have some technical aspects to deal with here. So the mech bay... Now, let me just scout this out real quick. The Leopard, I assume, is our ship, command center, barracks, mech bay, navigation, and captain's quarters, where we can review finances, reputation, and customize the company. Navigation is pretty self-sufficient. Uh, mech bay, also self-sufficient. Barracks, we can see the, the mechs that we have, and command center, contracts, and Darius. All right, well, let's go to the mech bay like he asked us to. And up in the corner here, are we uh, company finances due at each financial report? So is 240000 what we're burning every month? Because dang, no wonder we're broke. Okay, um, now what do we do with you? Yang, what, what do you need us to do here? Welcome to the Mech Bay, my own little piece of heaven. I want an assessment on the Leopard. I've got a few questions about the Mech Bay. Tell me a little about yourself. No. Yeah, uh, tell me about the Mech Bay. What do I do here exactly? I mean, I don't want to wax poetic or nothing, but the Mech Bay is where the magic happens. Uh, okay, great. We can get some tutorials here. Uh, yes, actually, uh, I would like to know about the Mech Bays themselves. Apologies to viewers. Um, we are going to go through some tutorials right now. Again, this is a completely blind run to me, so I do actually need to understand what we do here. So, Yang, what do you got? Each cubicle holding one battle mech. It's all about capacity. The more mech bays we have, the more max mechs we can keep battle ready. Okay, good to know. So if we expand our capacity, we can have more mechs to bring, you know, other mechs in when some of them get damaged. Kind of like an x y kind of thing. We want to keep, I guess, some rookies in reserve so when the heavy hitters go down, we can bring somebody up from the rear. All right. Say we had two blackjacks, a decent medium mech. I know your family gave you yours. One could be loaded out with lots of energy weapons for use in colder environments. Huh, where they can bleed heat quickly. Okay, interesting, because I've kind of been curious about what we do about the heat issue apart from just jumping in a river. So if we're in a colder climate, that totally makes sense that we won't be heating up as quickly and energy weapons use a lot of heat or will rather generate a lot of heat. Uh, the other blackjack could be loaded with ballistic weapons. Require ammo, but generate less heat. All right, good. Uh, now tell me about storage. How much storage do we have right now? How much can we make storage? Whenever we pick up partial mech salvage from the battlefield, I put it in storage for you. Oh, so we can we can loot. Good to know, Yang. Thank you. Should I have been looting on the last mission? Okay, uh, should I have been looting? I don't know. If we gather or buy enough partial mech salvage to complete a battle mech chassis, my team will assemble it right away. Oh, so they'll auto make something. Okay, good, cool. Uh, what happens when a mech goes into or gets readied from storage? When you send a mech chassis into storage, our mech techs dismount all of its weapons and equipment and place them in your inventory for use on another chassis. 
Okay, and they can stay there indefinitely. All right. Fair enough. Uh, getting a stored battle mech ready for combat drop. It's a different animal. My techs will need a couple of days to bring an empty chassis up from storage. Once the chassis is back in the mech bay, you'll need to select its loadout from our equipment inventory so we can start a refit. Okay. Um, you had another little tutorial thing. Yeah, what can you put on our mechs? How, how much stuff can you stuff onto them? You can browse all the equipment we have available in inventory, two types of components, ballistic weapons, energy weapons, missile weapons. Um, those are all self-explanatory, but tell me about support weapons. What, what are those exactly? Small lasers, machine guns, that kind of thing. I programmed our targeted computers to automatically fire them after a melee attack, attack if they're activated. Okay, so that was Glitch's little parting laser shot after she smashed that um, vehicle in the face at the end of the last episode. All right, I think... Um, oh, wait, I was going to say I'm done with you, but what other types of equipment can you fit on a mech? I assume jump jets and things like that. Check the store in every system we travel to. You never know what you'll find. Stronger cockpits... Arm actuators that increase melee damage, range finders. Yeah, okay, so stuff, basically stuff. And they add some weight, good enough. Putting powerful equipment on your mechs is fine and all, but remember the trade-off is always armor. Okay, so I've just been kind of messing around in the mech bay and seeing how we repair and modify mechs. We can certainly just do a repair all. That seems to solve the problem of repairing stuff. But I wanted to see what we can do to kind of mess around with their equipment. So, for instance, like the long-range missiles that I was a big fan of. I like these LRMs. Um, how do we... The left arm has... Or, sorry, the left torso, rather, has the AC-5, which is, you know, fairly generic. But if I wanted to, say, put the LRM here... Okay, that's how we do that. And I'm going to assume that will need some ammo. All right, fair enough. Now, what could we maybe, what do we put on the right arm? Can we put more, can we just load this thing up with weapons? Which is a terrible idea. Um, you know, the lighter, the better, and we don't want to sacrifice armor or weight or anything like that. But let's see, this is, I assume, ballistic and energy and missile and let me see support weapons. How about support weapons? Uh, okay, we actually unhighlight things, so everything was highlighted. We have no support weapons available. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. So how are we doing here? It's very efficient on heat. We have heat sinks in both the legs, and those deduct three heat per turn, so I would assume that stacks, and we would actually be deducting six heat per turn. Range is good. Melee is pretty solid. Firepower, not so much. Not so much on the firepower. So, say the uh, the AC-5. What does that really look like? Damage at 45. Is there anything better we could be doing? Damage 25. I'd sue. How about a laser? Can I give you a laser? Damage 40. That's still not as good as this, right? Uh, sorry, I'm looking at the ammo. I'm looking at the wrong thing. Not quite as good. Um... What is the, this would be short range missiles, I assume, SRM, yeah. All right, well, we'll keep it at the AC-5 for right now. That seems about the best we're going to get, comboing that with some long range missiles. That seems pretty sensible. And if the comments have better ideas onto, you know, what we could be doing in here, please let me know. Obviously, you know, we're just starting out, so we don't have a ton of equipment right now. And the other thing I'm noticing is we're actually now overweight. We are overweight. We're, uh... 1.5 tons overweight. So is that the LRMs? Yeah, it sure was. Yep, it sure was. So I guess maybe I don't get my LRMs until we get some better gear. Um, I don't know, heavier legs or something that can support more weight. Uh, the laser, is that is that wicked heavy? What if we put a laser on here? Can we not put a laser on there? Does that go on your arm? It goes on your arm. Okay, still overweight. All right, well, what can we put on there? How about an AC-2? No. All right. Does that go on the arm as well? Does that go anywhere at all? Left torso. It, it, okay. It only goes to the left torso. All right. That's fair. That's fair. What, uh, what could live over here? The AC-10 can live over here. Can that, uh, that put us overweight? No, that's the ammo, Dave. That's the ammo. That was not the thing that we want to do. Can anything at all live here? Is that like a medium laser? Uh... 
There we go. There we go. That still keeps us underweight. All right, still good on heat and all that stuff. All right, good. Yeah, let's confirm that. Work order. Uh, yes, now I'm sure this is all going to cost me some money. Uh, 152,000 space dollars, and it's going to take 27 days. All right, yeah, yeah, it's 78 grand alone just to repair the mech. Who? Yeah, we're going to be a little more careful about not just charging into combat and getting destroyed. Go ahead, confirm that. Let's just see how that's going to play out. I, I just want to see what's going to happen with all of that. Okay, I was just ticking time along, um, trying to get all the repairs done on all of the mechs. Uh, I fidgeted with that first one, and then I just set the others that were damaged just to repair everything, just so they'll be back to square one. And I was just ticking time along, and then this thing popped up. So we're on the Leopard's Bridge with Sumier, Yang, and Darius. Three messages from the banks, loan sharks, from the people who are financing us. They're considering rewriting the terms of our loans so it would be easier to seize this ship. They're only doing this because they believe we can't fight it in court. Um, interesting. Sweet talk the banks, ignore their messages, or educate the banks about their mistakes. So we've got little, you know, sort of mini quests, side quest things. That's kind of cool. Um, let's see if we can sweet talk them. Let's, let's see if we can be... I'll talk to them. In it, you explain with much gravitas that you selected each of the banks for their prestige and reliability. You remind them of your impeccable payment history. Is that true? I, I don't think we actually have an impeccable payment history. We, we get destroyed and we've made no money. You conclude by expressing your desire for a long and fruitful financial relationship with them, hinting that you might seek additional loans when your current ones are paid in full. A few days later, the banks contact you to say their previous messages were sent in error. Oh, good. We've, we've gained the following tags. Loan status fair. I, I think that went well. Excellent. All right. Well, let's keep time moving along here. Uh, we've got 19 days for the Shadowhawk to be done in another, another month, basically. And, oh, God, we're out of action just forever. Just absolutely forever. Maybe we should hire somebody. I mean, we can't really afford it, but this hiring hall thing is here. Hammer. Gunner. Justice, recruit. Uh, can't be hired because your mercenary review board rating is too low. Oh, okay. So it doesn't look like we actually can hire anyone right now. Interesting. Okay. Um, well, we we can. There are contracts available. So, you know, in the contract center, in the command center, we have this aggressive intrusion, which Darius assures us will be a straightforward battle. I don't believe that. And most of our mechs are down. Let's, I want to do this, but I also want to get our mechs back in action. And that's going to take at least a month. So let me just move things along a little bit more, see if anything else pops up. And then I'd like to take a crack at that contract. Well, it's not been a good month. We had 678,000. We lost 240, primarily all the repair work that we just did. But we still got 438 left, so we're, we're kind of kicking along. Um, what do we got here? Next month's expense level options restrictive, so we could kind of put everyone on rations in terms of pay and stuff. Generous would give us a morale boost, but we can't really afford that. Let's just keep it at normal. Let's keep it at normal. Um, the, we've got 10 more days before the blackjack is back in action, and Behemoth is already almost back in on duty Decker and I are still out for a long time. Let me just tick it along until we get Behemoth back and see how that affects things. Oh, hang on. We're getting low on sea bills. I suggest keeping a careful eye on our expenses until we bring it in. Yeah, oh, we, we could sell off some extra equipment, but sure. Um, let's not jump to that right now. Let me just get Behemoth out of the, I don't know, space hospital. And then we're going to take a look at that contract and see if that's something we can deal with. All right, let's see what happens when we accept this contract. I don't know the implications of this. Darius is saying it's going to be a very straightforward battle. I refuse to believe that. Um, we can negotiate, so we can try and get more money out of these people. Max pay is 191, and the max salvage is 2 out of 10. Um, I'd like to get the salvage more than anything. Oh, but that drops our pay. 
Oh, I see. So we can ask for more money or we can ask for more salvage, but one's going to balance out the other. Let's just keep it as is then. Let's just keep it as is. That seems fair. Let's see if we can actually manage this with, I believe, only two people fielding two people here. Well, we're fielding the team we can field with the bits and pieces that we've gotten. Apparently, we did have one recruit. I didn't know we had Medusa. Uh, don't know where he came from, but apparently he's part of the team. So Glitch, Behemoth, and Medusa. Let's see what we can do with this. Uh, these mechs have reduced performance in battle. Underweight has reduced unused tonnage. Underweight. Oh, so underweight is just as much of an issue as overweight. Interesting. I, I assume if you're underweight, it would probably make you more unstable. That seems to be logical. Uh, I don't know that for a fact, and please correct me in the comments, but I guess weight is a huge factor in this. Well, let's see what we can do. I mean, I'm kind of hoping, you know, we're out of the tutorial area, but I'm kind of hoping these first couple of missions might be a little bit on the easy side. Darius continues to say this is a straightforward battle. I don't believe him, but we'll soon find out. Darius's optimism makes me very nervous. These guys are amateurs. Get eyes on them. Take them out. Yeah, why don't you come down here and help with this? His optimism... I, we're, uh, this is going to be betrayal all over again, isn't it? Okay, well, let's see what we can do. What are our options here? They are... Remind me again. They're up there. Are they sort of around the corner here? Yeah, kind of. Um, and... We're going to travel better, and we're going to be more steady on a road. So let's make sure we're doing that instead of trying to march up that hill. Let's, let's get the basics solid before we start getting all technical with combat. Let's understand basic things like facing in the right direction and not walking up a giant hill so we're completely unstable. So you go over there. I... I got to feel we're going to get betrayed by somebody. That's just how this game goes. Uh, yeah, just keep moving here. That's fine. Keep moving in this direction. Yeah. And Medusa, what are you going to bring to the party here? You're, you're new. I don't know how you work. I know Glitch is awesome. And Behemoth ain't bad. Well, what are, what's, what's, your, what's your deal? Okay, enemy contact. Is it just one of them? No, I see at least two. Okay. I can't really... One of them's definitely some kind of mech, and I can't really see what the other one is. Okay, so, uh, yeah, Medusa, just go up there and make sure you're facing in the right direction, please. And Oh, we just, we're, knocking, we're knocking all the telephone wires down. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Very sorry about that. Yeah, thanks, Darius. I knew it wasn't going to be as easy as all that. There's another guy up on the hill here. There's another guy up on the hill. So, yeah, it wasn't you know, not really quite that easy, was it? Oh, nothing but betrayal in this game. Okay, uh, Glitch, you're probably going to be my frontline person because you're just crazy awesome. So you roll up there. And then Behemoth. Uh, Glitch, just brace for right now. Sorry, I didn't tell you what to do there. Okay, Behemoth, I would like you to move here, but face here-ish, like sort of there-ish. Because if this guy comes down the hill, I just want us to all dogpile on him. And then Medusa, you're kind of an X factor right now. Sorry, Behemoth, did I not tell you what to do? Yeah, just brace, please. Um, yeah, thank you. Medusa, why don't you go to here and face in that direction we're just gonna kind of get a little ridiculous on this guy coming down the hill if we can why don't you do vigilance actually so you'd be guarded and entrenched because i don't know i don't know what your deal is i don't know how good you are oh do, do, do you have a shot or do you want to shoot something oh okay i didn't even see that you had a shot yeah sure take take the shot you totally missed but you know good effort Good effort. The recruit is slightly less evasive now, so, you know, good job. Now, it should be their turn. Yep. Okay, let's see what they're going to do here. There's the unknown coming down the hill. I've got to feel... Oh, you have a very cool-looking mech. Oh, I want to make one of those. That's... Oh, no, 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 no. No, all right, you're, you're after Medusa. 
that's that's okay for right now and you got one of those locust things i i they're really cool looking but as i recall they went down pretty easily too so do you have a shot on anything does not appear so so why don't you move here and head in that direction see if you can get a shot on this guy up here no not so much okay that's fine that's fine uh then just brace brace for right now please they're getting another turn. Possibly should have just reserved Medusa. You really? You guys are going to hang out up on the hill? Oh, you have, you have lasers. Are you... Please be completely expo is exposed to my fire right now. Because that's how it worked with Decker in the last one. Uh, so who's up? Behemoth? Do you have a shot? Why don't you have... Yep, take the shot. Take the shot. Why? Why are you missing so much... Why are you missing so much? I don't like the fact that you're missing. Oh, sir. Elevation works for these guys, but not for Decker. Fair. That's that's totally fair. Um, what have you got going on up there? Yeah, go ahead. Looks like you got... Yeah, you got your little guided missile things, don't you? Which really didn't do a heck of a lot. Darius, you totally lied to me. You said this is going to be a cakewalk. And it ain't. It totally ain't. Are, if we come out of here with completely damaged mechs, I don't even know if we've got the money to fix them anymore. All right, what's what's our options here? Uh, our options are getting shot with lasers. That's that's option number one. Then we're certainly exercising that option. And maybe we should... Here's the deal. Behemoth. Can you get up the hill? No. Um, probably because Medusa is in the way. Yeah, you can get up the hill and face that direction. I think we got to take the fight to this guy. He's just entrenched up on the hill. I'm I'm disappointed that or elevation is working for him, but it didn't work for Decker when I tried to do it. Okay, you got some shots in there. That that looks good. Jump jets destroyed. Fantastic. Now what are we gonna do with him? All right. Uh, glitch. Why don't you actually see if you can deal with this locust? Because I don't like the way he's coming up on the back end here. Oh, bad camera angle there, but oh, nice, nice. Glitch, you are a superstar. Superstar. Pilot injured. Oh, that we just wrecked him. Absolutely wrecked him. Uh, do you have a shot on this guy? Yeah, go ahead and take it. Uh, yeah, take it. Take it, because I'm going to send Medusa up the hill to punch him in the face, hopefully. Okay, better. Better. Feeling a little better about this. You're probably going to go right for Medusa. Oh, that's a wonky camera angle. Oh, no, you're going for Behemoth. Well, that's not very nice. It's not very nice at all. Okay. Uh, Medusa, can you get up here and face in that direction, please? Yeah, go ahead and do that. And would you like to just charge in and punch this guy in the face? No, you want to fire at him. Okay. That, oh, yeah. Would you do actually try and hit him, please. A few laser hits there, but that didn't really do much of anything, did it? Uh, glitch. Can you finish this guy off? I'm going to tell you, I surely would appreciate that. You know I love you, Glitch. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, we've, we've solved that problem. Oh, and the little parting laser shot, just for good measure, just to rub it in. Just to pour salt on the wound. Well done, Glitch. You're vindictive. I like that about you. Uh, Behemoth, you still have a shot, right? Yeah, you just keep firing. Keep firing. Gonna have, you might want to check my heat. We're firing off a lot of lasers here. Oh, never mind. I think we've we've solved the issue. No, you're down, but you're. Pro I don't think you're out. I don't think you're out. Nope, you're not out. You're getting up, but you can't have much gas left in the tank right now. You got enough to fire at Behemoth. Any other knockdown in any other game, you would effectively lose your turn. But these guys seem to be able to get up, you know, shake themselves off and fire all at the same time. Uh, Medusa, why don't you see if you can get the kill here? You're firing from his side, so that's that's really good. Oh, no, you're charging this time. Never mind, you're still at a good angle. He should have less armor where, you know, in the direction that we're facing. Okay, he's still not down. Dang. Uh, glitch, you're kind of nowhere near him, but do you have a shot? 
not know, but you do if you move here. Go ahead and go there. And turn around. Now shoot him. Glitcher, you're going to take this kill too. You are, aren't you? Yeah. I like you, Glitch. Okay. Not quite the cakewalk Darius promised, but still, I, I think we managed that pretty well. A milk run just as we expected. Yeah, you weren't down here, Darius. You weren't down here. All right. Got that done. First successful mission. All right, and indeed, mission successful, and we got 104,000 some odd space dollars. So cool. And we've gained some reputation. Uh, have we? Because those are the guys we were fighting. Those are the guys we were fighting for. And how's our, how's our sort of rep with the Mercenary Review Board? I'm going to guess from the little arrow there, that just went up a little bit. So we're rated 20 with them. Good. I assume the higher we get, the better people we can hire for that. And everyone got a little XP. I'm sorry. I feel Glitch should have get, got more XP for that. Glitch took both the kills. She should have got more XP for that. But there it is. It's probably just evenly divided up amongst everyone who was there. So, all right. Good. I, oh, we got some salvage. Let's see. We got a, a long-range missile. What is an LCT? This is an L <clears throat> Excuse me. An LCT. It can churn out a decent volley of LRMs. Okay, it's a thing. Whatever it is, we got one of them. What's a JR-7D? Did we get a whole new mech? Is that what we just got? Oh, that would be cool, because we need those. They run hot, but they run fast. Okay, and did we did we get another mech? I'm going to have to check this out, and that's what we'll do next time. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time.